Before we begin this video, I just have to say, I've never met Casey Neistat. Even though the thumbnail says my meeting with Casey Neistat, this is not the case. I made this thumbnail just to get your attention. And the point of this video is to show you how you can make a thumbnail like this using your editing software like Final Cut Pro. Because you don't need Photoshop or photo editing programs to make a clickbaity thumbnail. So here is my video on how to make a thumbnail using your editing software and in this case Final Cut Pro. So the first thing that I begin with is uh, background and the background I chose for this thumbnail was a colorful background that I downloaded from Storyblocks. The next thing that I did was that I found a picture of myself from a marathon that I ran a couple of years ago and then I found a picture of Casey Neistat on Google from some kind of race that he ran. And I think these two pictures kind of match up quite well, actually. The next thing I did was that I used the draw mask tool that's in Final Cut Pro and I put that draw mask on top of my picture and then I started drawing around myself. The next thing I did, I used the same draw mask tool to draw around KC Neistat. And if you zoom in on the picture, you get a more detailed outline of the picture that you want to use the draw mask on. And now me and Casey are in the picture together, but we don't line up quite well. So what I did now was that I changed the size of me and Casey to try and match things up a little bit better. What's also different is the colors on the two pictures. Casey is a little bit darker than me. So I changed the exposure of me and now we matched a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Then I just changed the position of us two together and then I used some square solids to hide all the defaults in the picture. These solids is also useful to add text on. So that's what I did. I put some solids in the picture trying to hide all the mistakes or all the parts of the picture that threw off that it's not real. And then on top of these squares, I just added the text that I wanted to have on the thumbnail. So how I made this thumbnail, I put on the left side and then on the right side, I put my meeting with Casey. Nice that. And when it's all done, I just saved the current frame as a JPEG and then I had my thumbnail. And this is the way that I have made my thumbnails for YouTube lately. I've been using Final Cut Pro because I find that the capabilities of Final Cut Pro when it comes to making thumbnails are actually a lot more easy than using programs like Photoshop. So this is kind of a different video than I usually make. Sometimes life just happens and I didn't have the time to make a video like I normally do. But I hope you got something out of this video nonetheless. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as usual. And if you want to see more videos from me, go into my channel and see what videos I have. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell too. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching and maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.